Oh, hello everyone, and welcome to Sam I'm gonna plays Detroit Become Human, episode 9 or 10, whichever one it is. Let's continue. Okay, we're back with Connor and Clancy Brown. Let's do this. Hank is warm. Reconcile with Lieutenant Anderson, huh? Okay. Oh, this dude's seen somebody. Or he knows a friend or whatever. So apparently there's a level above warm which is trusted because Alice was trusted, so we could get Hank to be trusted maybe. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah, let's scan this dude. Who are you? Your name is Abdar Pedro. Criminal record, illegal gambling, fraud, unemployed. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a <laughs> poodle. Apologize for behavior. Partners, let's let's reconcile. I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look. Send me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're gonna be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. Let's scan you now. Are you also an illegal fraudulent person? K is Gary. Criminal record. Resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. Go. Ah, oh, thanks Gary, I'm starving. I'll leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, company. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant, but I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Hmm, okay. All right, I am learning about things. Let's talk about the highway. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. And I don't like filling out paperwork for damage to quit. Sure. About Connor, Hank, and androids. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I, I want to know them. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um... Why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, then fine. <laughs> Only with you. Or when it comes to you. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? Yes, yeah, there was that. A few months back, 
A deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. Yeah, what happened to you, man? So what's your conclusion? Sincere, psychological. Let's go sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of okay, the... Okay, I didn't know that was... What sincere meant, but apparently he liked that, so that's fine. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. <laughs> uh, I'm really starting to feel for this guy. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Okay, let's do this. Question the suspect. Here we go. This is a real thing. What do we know about this guy? What do we know about Not this much. guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange, strange noises, noises, huh? Okay. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Okay, we have birds. R rock pigeon. Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Let's see, so that's... Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. Knock one more time. Anybody I'll home? bust the door in in a second. Open up, Detroit Police! Stay oh, that was a noise. I didn't actually hear what kind of noise it was. But I don't have the volume turned up very high. Otherwise, it'll echo on the microphone. You gonna go in? I'm waiting for you. What the fuck is this? That's a lot of birds. Jesus, this place stinks. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Are these android birds or real birds? gun unlikely hold the phone what are these symbols confirmed suspect is deviant find cause of loud noise suspect cares for wild animals okay maybe that unlocks a new dialogue option for when we talk to him what do we have here military jacket RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Ew. Let's take a sample. Yeah. I, yeah, right? You know, that's what we do. You just drink the blood of everyone you meet, still. Blue blood. And now... Oh! Okay. We got a dude who now no longer has his LED. Its LED is in the suspect sink. Suspect is a deviant. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking. And bitches. there's RA9 for you. It must be. 
I guess Ralph isn't alone in means. the fact that drawn all this stuff. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Why indeed. Looks like mazes or something. Obsessive compulsive writing, yeah. What do we have here? An overturned table. Oh, was this the loud noise, perhaps? Wooden stool recently disturbed traces of avian fecal matter, of course. Naturally. Naturally, there's bird shit on a stool. I believe most stores uh, sell them that way, actually. Since it's such an often requested feature. Opened marker pen. Still wet, used recently. So, dude was writing with the pen. Subject was here recently, writing stuff. And then, oh, he tripped on himself. Suspect ran to the living room. He ran to the living room when we heard the loud noise. He hit himself over here. Then where did he end up? Because he was not in the closet. Oh, we got a fake ID named Rupert Travis. Oh, that's RT. The driver's license Suspect is used forged cool. ID. At least we didn't come for nothing. But RT is Real the books. what was on the jacket. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Oh, was this the cage that made the noise? How did I not see this? Finger marks, recent. No oh, traces of avian fecal matter, you know, as you want. Pretty much just uh, put that all over your house. As an accent. And as like a perfume. You know, avian fecal matter is uh, Wicks and Sticks' most popular candle scent. Metal hook recently broken. All right, let's reconstruct over here then. Oh, it was hanging. Suspect ran toward the entrance. Suspect heard us enter. Suspect is still here and went up into the wall into the ceiling. Electronic books you can't I smell the paper. Let's expose them. Pages turning yellow. You have no idea. Ah! God damn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Okay, let's do this. Oh, I'm probably jumping over that. Damn right. Okay, yep. Oh, I didn't know I had to keep running. I didn't... I... I didn't have the left analog stick down. Easy but slow, fast but risky. Do it. Safer detour, balanced, fast but risky. Keep doing fast but risky. We got it. believe in my own direct but crowded safer detour we gotta go safer on this one okay I don't need to jump over stuff that I can just run next to where are you where'd you go okay you're over here oh, are you serious bro What do we got? Fast but risky. Do it. Which one is it? Okay, going up this way. You got it.
We're right behind the dude. We gotta get him. I did fast but risky like pretty much every single time. I am too good. Too good to fail. Mash it, okay. God, this guy's good. This guy is just as good as I am at quick time events. Holy hell. Yep, that's a, that's an X, obviously. What do we have? Safe but slow, direct but crowded. We gotta be crowded. Sorry. Look out. Go to the right. Should have gone to the left. A little bit faster. Or maybe it doesn't matter. I can't see. I don't know what's happening. I lost him. But we're still running, though. Oh my god. Where are you? I gotta save Hank. Sorry. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We had it. Fuck. It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. Hank is a friend. Oh, that's nice. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Connor. Nothing. I don't know. I mean, it's not that important, also. Like, you know, 89% chance that he would survive, but, like, you can never explain that to somebody. Like, you bastard, you just left me dangling there. Yeah, well, like, yeah, but I calculated you had an 89% chance to survive. Yeah, but, like, that's bullshit, I don't believe that, because you're a robot. So that's what, that's how that would have gone down. Hank is now a friend. We have been doing a great job there. Let's check out our world stats. Okay, lunch break, we joined Hank. We talk to Hank. We be frank with Hank. We be frank with Hank. Warn Hank about his friends. Frank with Hank. In the elevator. Uh, into the nest. We examined the feathers. It's not very important, but we did it. CRA9 reference. That's important. Investigate the stool. Investigate the cage. I guess there's other stuff we didn't investigate. We found the LED. I guess we could have not found him, but regardless, we found Rupert. We chase Rupert. We're gaining on Rupert. 88% we're gaining on Rupert. And then I assume if you weren't gaining on Rupert, you just, you just get away. Rupert pushes Hank. We saved Hank. 66% of people saved Hank. Rupert got away. And then I guess if we hadn't saved Hank, we would have caught Rupert. Easily. But at the same time, Rupert doesn't... It's not like Rupert's like this big time... You know, he's just a random deviant. It was a noise disturbance, right? Like, yeah, all android deviant cases are important, but... You know, it's not like this guy was top of FBI's most wanted. Let him go. He's not as important as making sure... LAPD's finest, or Detroit D... Detroit... P, you know, you know what I'm saying. Detroit finest is safe and whatnot. So, I stand by this. I stand by this stuff. This was a pretty good chapter for me, I'd say. Let's continue. We're only 19 minutes in. We gotta do another one. Alright, time to see what Jericho's all about. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. Oh, you're Simon. Simon. Your name's not Daniel. No, I... Hi, Daniel! Trail Android Jericho. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. Free? And hiding just to stay alive. That's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. 
trail. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Yep. I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Lost, somber, lucid, direct. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay yeah, I ain't staying here, but thanks. I'll be mobilizing these dudes. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Or something. Still haven't decided yet. Let's settle in. Find Lucy, explore Jericho. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Yeah, you look a little worse for wear, buddy. Kill yourself. What's your name? Your heart palpitator is gonna stop palpitating. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Well, that was fast. Even in Jericho, you just die alone in a corner of the room and nobody even cares. Oh, oh, yeah, what's up? Someone two feet to my right just died. I'm just gonna kick it on the stairs right now. Can we just, like, talk to everyone? I assume... Oh, what do we have here? That is a boy. That is a small child. threw him out, and they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a Why way would you buy an android child? We need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can for those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? I want all the trials of being a parent without any of the, like, joys. We're slowly dying. Okay, so we improved our relationship with Josh just by being in the vicinity of a small kid lying on the ground. Ooh, people are flocking to my fire. You guys are welcome. I'm here to bring fire to... Okay, we got more RA9 stuff going on. I don't know, this still doesn't strike me as uh, everyone here being acceptably alright. Oh, yeah, okay, let's open this. Crate already emptied. What about this crate? Cyberlife Warehouse and Docks, West Torrance Avenue, Detroit, Michigan. Okay. Calculating route. Huh? The route would be like two inches away from here. What are you, what are you calculating? I don't understand. I don't understand what you just did. Okay, you guys are fine. Talk to you. You're not Lucy, so. A lot of these guys in pretty bad.
bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. What was your function before coming here? What do you care? Okay, sorry. Oh, you don't want to talk about your slave life? All right. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, 11 hours. I mean, she was the sex robot, so I guess I didn't need to ask. As good a place as any. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. No, I'm not done talking to you. I wanted to exhaust all my dialogue options, man. Let's start a fire over here, too. You were the first person we saw. I guess I can't talk to you. Yeah, you were still over there. Go ahead and start a fire over here. We're just going to start every fire until the ship is up in flames. Just, you know, bringing the denizens out of hiding. Oh yeah, I'm going to start this fire too. Just call me Prometheus. What's up? How's it going? Oh, here we go. Not in very good shape, am I? Now nah, you look like gray shit. Don't shut down. I'll fix you. Do you need like a spare finger? Because I can cut my pinky off. And you could stick that somewhere. And I'm sure that would make everything alright again. What about you? You got anything to say? No. You guys don't like my fires? But the magic show has only just begun. I'm gonna pull a rabbit out of my hat next. You flock to see that shit? Are you Lucy? You definitely seem to be Lucy. Are you Lucy? Oh, oh. Sit down. Somebody cracked this porcelain doll. Show me. Stop the bleeding. Oh, I didn't even realize I was bleeding. I didn't know there was anything wrong with me. Drink this. Why does that make you better? Your face cleared up. I saw it. Oh, yeah, no, it's yeah, back. Oh, it's just... Okay. Your skin's just kind of bubbling around.
got little critters going on in there. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Are those like metal dreadlocks? They kind of function as it. You make like a weave out of cords. Okay, let's propose a plan to Simon. Simon's the blonde one, I know that. Is anyone going to deal with this one? Are we just going to leave her there as like a monument to her memory? Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Oh yeah, everybody likes that. Except maybe Josh. Okay. I'm in. Okay. Oh, we did, like, everything in here. I think. Yes, we did! 100% completed! Oh! And so did pretty much everybody, so... I guess that doesn't really say much. But that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can like, share, and subscribe, and whatnot. And I will see you guys next time.